Welcome to this BI Quick Tip. For more background on the BI tool, please visit our Help Files website. In this video, we'll go over the selection pane. The selection pane lists all visualization parts in a current report page and allows you to hide or show these parts if you prefer. This quick tip is mainly for developers who create dashboards. Let's start by importing data into Power BI. We'll click on Get Data and select Excel. Then we'll select our data and click on Open. We'll select Table 1 and Sheet 1 of our imported data by clicking here. When everything looks good, we'll click on Load. Now, let's expand Table 1, click on Clustered Column Chart, and select all of the other fields. Then, we'll resize the bar chart and click on Slicer, selecting Fiscal Year or FY from the fields column. Next, we'll insert other visuals such as an arrow, a text box, and a shape to show you what the selection pane can do for visuals. When everything is ready, let's click on View and then we'll click on both Bookmarks and Selection. We'll hide filters by clicking this arrow. Now let's say we want our home page for users to be just the bar graph. We'll use the selection pane to hide the other visuals by simply clicking the I button here. We could see the visuals disappear from the screen with each click. We'll add a bookmark by clicking Add, then clicking the three dots here, we'll rename it. Let's unhide the visuals with the selection pane by clicking on the eye again. We can do the same thing with other bookmarks and with the selection pane. We make sure only what we want to be shown visually will be there. One thing to note is that if you try to add more visuals onto a certain bookmark, you would have to update your bookmarks. To show you what I mean, we'll click on Line Chart, input all the fields, and then resize and position things differently. We'll rename this bookmark that we inputted the line graph so that we don't get confused. Now, if we click on the home page bookmark that we made previously, we'll notice that the line graph is still showing. Let's make sure the home page bookmark is open, then open up the selection pane, hide the line graph, click the three dots here and hit update on the bookmark. Now we can see that the line graph is hidden instead of being shown on that specific bookmark. Be sure to do this for all extra visuals you add for your bookmarks. Thank you for watching this episode of the BI Quick Tips series. You can find all BI Quick Tip videos on the Help Files website. Until next time.